The building blocks have been laid for the most ambitious coast-to-coast -coast professional soccer league in American history. I don't know about you, but there are very few times where you feel the chill go up your spine. The World Cup was won, but this is perhaps the biggest day in the history of U.S. soccer. Starting tonight, the MLS is going to prove just how dramatic a difference it's going to be. This is a dream come true for many fans and players alike. That day, that day was probably realizing a dream. It was like, wow, it, this is really going to happen. We had a charter bus take us, you know, a mile or two away, right? So we're staying downtown, beautiful hotel, get on the bus, and had a police escort going in. To see that many people and that it was organized properly and that it was really major league. And uh, since then we've come a long way, but for, for that era of soccer player, it was huge. To see all these fans with their flags and their scarves and makeshift uh, signs, you know, waving them to us, was just, uh, blew me away. We'd never seen anything like this as American soccer players. The field was perfect. Um, for us, the game was perfect. It went down to the very end. Here at Spartan Stadium, as Aroha dances past Lee. Ronaldo, Ronaldo on the left foot, keeping it on the right now, looking for the shot. Gets it far post goal! Goal for Eric Ronaldo! Eric Ronaldo slipped the ball through Jeff A. Deuce's legs and finishes it perfect, and the crowd goes wild. And you know, you're just sitting there, you could, couldn't stop smiling. It's, it's one of my greatest memories in soccer. And to see all these people, you know, cheering for soccer in this country was just another, you know, goal for us as soccer players. And everybody kind of went, man, this is, this is real. We're going to realize a dream. There's going to be soccer in America. It's just a, a, a thrill. It's a memory of a lifetime.